Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Computerworks. Today's guest is Mary Marsh, a computer consultant and expert on networks and their applications. She'll be answering your questions on LANs. Mary, thanks for coming on the programme. It's a pleasure, Mike. If you want to speak to Mary Marsh, the number to ring is 071-888-1200. The lines are now free. Mary, one of the impressions that business computer users have is that LANs are only for large businesses. Are they right? Well, Mike, I don't agree that LANs are only for large companies. They're just as useful for smaller companies as many of them are beginning to realise. Another common belief among business network users is that something as complex as a LAN can be designed and installed only by a specialist company. Is this correct? No, I think they're wrong again, I'm afraid. It's perfectly possible for small companies to design and install their own LANs. Only the really big LANs for large companies need to be installed by outside experts. So, are you saying that every small company should install its own LAN? Build a sort of do-it-yourself network? No, not necessarily everyone. A great deal depends on your ability to work with computers and your willingness to spend time on LAN installation in addition to your normal work. Not everyone is capable of setting up a do-it-yourself network. If you don't have enough computer knowledge or enough time, you shouldn't attempt it. However, in some cases, you can do part of the installation work, even if you don't do the whole job yourself. Mary, let's go to our first caller, John from Leeds. Hello, John. Uh, what's your question, please? Hello, Mary. My question is this. How much do you have to know about computers to install your own LAN? Well, John, you certainly don't need a college qualification in computer science to do a simple LAN installation. On the other hand, you should be able to open up your machines and add and remove expansion boards easily. Also, you should be familiar with computer documentation. Are you used to doing all those things, John? Yes, Mary. I've got quite a lot of experience. Well, that's fine. Another point I'd want to make is that you have to be ready to try a process several times before you get it right. So Mary's advice is that you've got to keep trying, John. Yes. Thanks, Mary. OK, let's move on to our second caller, Alison from Sunderland. Hello, Alison. What's your question for Mary Marsh, please? Hello, Mike. Hello, Mary. Mary, how much downtime should I expect while installing a LAN? Hello, Alison. When you're installing a LAN, you may be without your computers for as much as a day or so. A lot depends on how well the installation proceeds, and that depends on your own experience. Professional installers can have each of your machines out of operation for only a few minutes at a time. If you can't live without your computers for a while, you might want to avoid doing it yourself. Does that answer your question, Alison? Yes. Thank you very much, Mary. Let's go to caller number three, Bill from Bristol. Hello, Bill. What's your question for Mary? Hello, Mary. I'd like to know if I have to be good at construction techniques to install a LAN. Well, Bill, installing a LAN involves running cable to several offices. This may require you to install junction boxes in walls, do the wiring, and maybe install electrical power as well. If you aren't familiar with these skills, and if you aren't a qualified electrician, you will need to hire someone for this part, at least. Of course, if you're installing your LAN in one room, then you might not need to hire anyone. That's what I thought. Thank you very much. OK, I'll be back with my guest, Mary Marsh, answering questions about computer networks right after this break. <laughs> 